Re- rephrase that for me. I was um I was in the comments. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> All right. Is it hey. universal? Is 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 it? All right. So, what, what's your age? If you don't ask me, out? you you dude, you don't care. What's your age? I'm thirty six. I'm thirty six. All right. You still you still younger than me. So, all right. Boom. Yeah, From and, and you probably have you pro- huh? I said that. I thought you was like thirty two, bro. No, I turned forty four a couple weeks ago. Holy shit! So the fourth. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I'm glad you do think I'm younger. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you I do feel like I might be a little younger than I look. Yeah, but, or the vice versa. But what I was saying is this: Do you feel like it's universal for men of all ages? And you probably got a few friends that are younger. If left to our own devices, let's say we have a choice in the matter. Do you think that it is better to have a woman with experience or not for a wife or long term relationship? <clears throat> Honestly, that's a tough question to answer based off of my personal experience. I, I would say okay. that the, I would say that the, the correct answer in most cases would be a woman who is um, like she doesn't have to have experience for a wife. Right. But in my personal experience. Right. I was married young to someone who didn't have a lot of experience. And to be honest, that was one of the things that that kind of did actually cause problems in the relationship. Like there were a lot of things that I had to like teach her. There were a lot of things that she just didn't know that that like it, like just about about life in general. Maybe not even not just sexually, but just about life in general. That kind of made the relationship a little a little bit more difficult. So I, I think for the long term success, though, you obviously don't want a woman with like crazy amounts of experience however i don't think in this current generation there's anything wrong with a moderate amount of experience you know like like i don't necessarily want a virgin per se like i want you to have dated someone before me you know what i mean like all right well well, well, well my bad we got to preface this properly we were discussing 304 that's it 304 let's let's that because that's what that's what the terms was 304 level experience that's not the type of experience i need a wife to have at all like you don't need you don't need that type of experience. Like that's not the job description, so you don't need that on your resume. Like you know, what I mean, you did, like the only you don't need to be dealing with me. I don't need you to have like a list of one hundred and fifty thousand dudes that you done service. You know, what I mean, like like you you, you could have dated like two or three guys. You know, man, man, I'd even put the number up to to ten guys. You know, whatever. Like in in this, in this generation, it gets crazy, right? In this generation, yeah. it gets crazy, but like, but yeah, three hundred four is much different. Like, I'm I'm more so talking about dating experience, but three hundred four. Yeah, you know, because that was that was the that was the premise. We was talking about three hundred four. So we were saying that three hundred four experience tends to make a woman a little less dateable because even the mindset that three hundred fours have is usually not one about like reciprocation and love and working together. It's usually like, yo, like I'm getting a bag out of you. So it's like. That it's gonna be very hard for a woman who's who's conditioned that way to even turn that off. Like if she's been spent True. her whole youth for messing dudes for that a bag, part. and now you're trying to be her her husband, like it's gonna be very hard for her to be like, oh no, nah, he he's not a look too. I got a question for you. I got a question. Hold on. Let me let me ask him this question real quick. So let's say she was a virgin, but her first experience was a threesome with two men. Is she a three or four? Ooh. Oh. Did she do it on purpose? Did she want that to be her first experience? <laughs> yeah, did she do it on purpose or was she assaulted? That's the question. No, no, no. no, if, no. If, she, if she did voluntarily, voluntarily, voluntarily? If it was voluntarily, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For, for sure. sure. That's a train. She got a train ran on her. First go? That's that, that was your, That's what you wanted to start with? But if a has, woman wanted to start with she has low a train. All she has to do yeah, that ain't how it go. That ain't how it go. That ain't how it go. Because what happened? How do you top that? You think you your first sexual experience is going to be the best, or are you going to try to top that at some she point was, in your life? If that's your first was, experience, was, you yeah. gotta get better, right? She was Bigger, she was, better. She was in college. You know, she was at one of the fraternity houses, and you know she didn't show me no But at three, so I can't even be feeling that. But in, in this generation, though, you really wouldn't even know. I'm very close in in you guys' generation versus the the adjacent. Like, I'm right there in the middle. So 
for me, I'm seeing different conversations. I'm seeing a lot of things that don't resonate with what you guys are saying now. Like when the Adam 22 situation came up, guys were like, no, I'm not giving my wife permission to fuck another man. But a lot of them were like, I want my wife to know how to suck a dick. I want my wife to know how to do all these other things. I want my wife to come to me ready to be a freak. Slut me out. Men are now saying this. They may not always be the men around. You men don't guys. say that. Those are those are. I can't describe those as men. But Maybe males. Is, we'll call them males. Is, but but, but this is the issue. yeah, that when it doesn't reflect your standard, it becomes the separation, right? And that's unfair because if it were black women. We have to all group black women in, even though me and Precious don't act like sexy red and Suki, right? Even then, Mr. Lego say all the time, women are dumb, women are stupid. We can't have that separation. So just because they don't measure up to your type of man does not mean that there are men who are not out here. And they are saying it. The younger generation of guys are leading with this mentality, making women feel like it is perfectly fine and acceptable it don't matter how many bodies you have before me. When you mind, you mind. It don't matter what those other guys said about you. They didn't know you for who you are. Like the same thing about spending the money, getting the bag, et cetera, et cetera. They're out here because there are men who feel that way have made it okay. Like Kyle Jones is saying, like, yes, there are men who are like, it's acceptable for her to have a little uh, notches under her belt. She don't need to come to me rusty. I don't want a virgin. There's some niggas out here who like Sukiana. They're saying they take her down. They're saying they whatever that freaky stuff is she's saying in her songs. They want that, and they know how she already coming. Clout. Yeah, she I know. I dig clout. that. Part. She only had sex with two people. She told you when when you met us. I only had sex with two people. You found out a little bit later. It was at the same time. She. Mm. It's a nuanced question. It depends on how old she was. It depends on how long ago it was. It depends on her sexual behavior after that occurrence. Like, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be real. So I can't say that I, it would, it would absolutely be a turn off, right? It would absolutely be a turn off. Now, depending on the circumstance, depending on woman, I can't honestly say if I would immediately just be like, oh, you, you, you belong to the streets now after that. Like, again, if it was her first experience, it's nuanced because let's say that was her first experience, but she hadn't done anything for another 10 years. And then I met her and she's like, and she's honest with me about it. Like, yo, this was my first experience. I mean, it, it depends on the woman. It depends on what she's bringing to the table. Besides that, you know, like you say what I want. Would you ask for details? About the experience? No, nah, I don't I don't want details. No. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I'm good on that. Hey, r r real quick. Um, I must say when adam 22 dropped that video he was dragged most media outlets dragged him so i don't think it's as socially acceptable as we might think it's still a no-go in most men's eyes it's it's deplorable people were talking about him they were saying oh no how could you oh your daughter it was, it was just bad all the way around right super sip of the year that's what they were calling dude so I don't know, and, but I did want to ask Paris. So any and or, or, or Precious, I want to I want to know how long do y'all think does it take to get a woman up to speed? Because I hear a lot of emphasis, like and I hear women say a lot, oh they want somebody who's ready to do this and do that. But I really want to know how long do you think it actually takes to get a woman up to speed to smash the way you need her to? Like what what time period do you think? Do we think that they have to come ready? Like we could break them in. If I get a new pair of J's. Yeah, they're going to feel uncomfortable for like the first couple of days, but after a week or two, they cool. I don't need them to come raggedy. I could break them in myself. I want them to fit me. I think that the thing is, right, because I said that about Adam 22, he got backlash because people were like, I would never allow my wife to do that. Like, that's okay. not okay. However, but prior to her coming in too, they also are saying, like a good friend of mine, um, he, he's very much so a popular socialite on Twitter. He's very adamant. I don't want a virgin. Like, I don't I don't want a virgin. She don't need to have a terrible reputation that follows her. Every time I look around, people know who she is, but she needs to come knowing how to do everything I like to do. And anything else, it can be worked on. I won't even give his name because I don't think it's important. But he's tweeted that. There were a lot of men who agree with him. 
And I think where we get the confusion now is a lot of times we're seeing men speak for men in a universal tone because you're segregating simp or you're segregating, um, you know, alpha male, beta male. But a lot of them are not subscribing to that. And we're seeing it in the adverse because it's a lot of girls out here feeling, still feeling like they can have the text man pay they like me. That that that's the that's the basis of it. So I think for a woman, me personally, I'm a woman. I have to be comfortable with you to be extra freaky with you. I I, I have to be. A lot of times we think just the art of having sex itself is a woman's comfort level, but we're seeing that that's just not even true with the whole lesbian thing. Now a lot of women are having more sexual experiences with women, so it's showing even in that that we're not just all the way broken in or comfortable with men. We're just in a routine of having sex with 